sweet so this is just an update on the progress of my hair could have stretched it out a bit longer but I really wanted to wash my hair I was too fascinated by this gray hair I'm cutting each braid just below where my hair ends. of growth. There was so many flakes dropping out of my head. It was ridiculous. Now I'm going to put this all natural oil and the conditioner in my hair. wash my hair with this black soap body wash and shampoo so I was gonna put my hair in little twisties for a week but I realized just how long that was gonna take and didn't want to have to do my hair twice or that long in one week so I just decided to go ahead and put the braids in but before I do that I'm gonna prep my hair with a protein treatment now I am allergic to castor oil like my scalp is really sensitive to castor oil but I realized that when I combine it with honey it doesn't bother my scalp and it hydrates my hair a lot so that's what I'm about to do I don't have measurements for anything. I just kind of eyeball everything. I apply this to 
to my hair damp with a little bit of conditioner and water. I let my hair dry completely and now I'm going to wash it out with this Eden Body Works Coconut Co-Wash. finished most of my hair so I just wanted to show you guys how I did it first section your hair Then spray it with some water and conditioner just to hold in moisture while it's in braids. Then apply your cream or oil just to um, add an extra sealant to hold in that moisture. already finished my roll of black yarn so I'm just going to show you guys how to measure out the yarn with this blue. I knew I wanted the braids to be long but I also knew I didn't want to sit for days doing it so I just measured it out the, the span of my arms. Now you're going to cut both ends that your thumbs were on. choose the thickness of your braids I like mine smaller so I only use three pieces of yarn now you're gonna take those pieces and make a T shape now just grab the hair along with the yarn and go for it I don't know use this part is really trial and error if you haven't already braided before Now once you get to the bottom, take the longest strand, wrap it around the braid and tie it in the knot.
inside and ran out of fluid, so I just went and burned it on the stove. And here's the finished product. So now I'm going to show you guys what I use to put my hair up in a ponytail. Take, just take a few pieces of yarn, tie the ends together, and there you go. I'm not sure which I like better, the long or the short. What do you guys think? Comment, subscribe, and let me know what else you would like to see from me.